All right, so the first example, multiplying radicals. Very easy. We're going to multiply the numbers on the outside. We're going to multiply the numbers on the inside. So distribute one at a time. Radical 7 times radical 2. I multiply the numbers inside, and I get radical 14. Now, put a little 1 here. Now I'm going to multiply this one and this one. The numbers on the outside, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Radical 7 times radical 3, radical 21. You're like, oh my god, that's so easy. You have to be very careful. Numbers outside, I mean, there's a 1 there, right? 1 times 1 is 1. You don't, got, you don't have to write the 1. Radical 7 and radical 2 make radical 14. Radical 7 and radical 3 make radical 21. And the negative 2 goes along for the right. Now, these are not like terms. You cannot combine them. You cannot subtract them. You leave it alone. Problem number two. I'm doing multiplying again. Now, I'm going to distribute this times this, this times this. Here is the mistake that I see people make. They will multiply radical 3 times 8. Now, this is not radical 8. This is 8. But what people will do is they'll just tell me, oh, Radical 24. They'll do 8 times 3. But remember what I said. The radical is like jail. This dude is not in jail. He is not going in there. I don't care how nicely you ask him to go in there. He's not going to. So you have no choice but to leave this guy on the outside. And the radical 3 is on the inside. So when you multiply these, right, there's an invisible 1 there. 1 times 8 on the outside stays on the outside, and radical 3 stays on the inside. You cannot make this radical 24. All right, so that's first guy, first guy. Now, this dude times him. So you have a 1 times a positive 4, which is plus 4, and then you have radical 3 times radical 2. They're both in jail, so they can hang out. So you multiply them. That's the property. Radical 6. Don't get cute. You're like, oh, it's 12 radical 9. No, it's not. This radical 3 and radical 6 are not like terms. You cannot take 8x plus 4y and add these together. They're different. So you must stop there. You will never be able to combine them. In any of the problems I do, these will never, ever combine. So you stop. All right. So the third example, again, continuing to multiply, I'm going to distribute. One at a time, and I'm going to be very careful. You know, put the little one there. It's, it's helpful. One is on the outside. Three is on the outside. Remember, the numbers on the outside don't go in. You multiply the numbers on the outside. You multiply the numbers on the inside. So one times three is three. Radical two times radical two is radical four. Now, if you're more sophisticated and you understand that radical times itself is just that number, radical two times radical two is two, then you can just write a two here. I won't. I'm going to write it all out very carefully this time. Now I'm going to do the first guy times the last guy. One times positive four is positive four. Radical two times radical five is radical 10. I just multiply the numbers inside the radical. Now I know that radical four is two. So I take him out of the jail. Now I can do three times two. Oh. I hope you see what's about to happen. This is begging you to add. You see that six and that four, and your brain wants to make a 10 there. Your brain wants to do six plus four very, very badly. You'll be like, oh, I've got that shit. Like, yay. But the problem is, you know, if I was asking you six plus four A, you have six dollars and four apples. You have 10 apples. It doesn't work that way. Unfortunately, you can't do this, right? You can't combine things that aren't the same. This is six dollars and four radical tens. That's not 10 radical 10. No matter how much you want to combine them, you can't. This is going to be very tempting. It is one of the most common mistakes that I see in any class. Hell, I even see students in higher levels screwing up and combining those. So just be super careful. You have to stop here. I just said in the previous problem, these are never, ever going to combine into one term, ever. They will never combine. The problems are designed that way. You're not going to get like terms at the end that you can add together. So you must always stop and get one, two terms, okay?
All right, so the final question. This is the hardest one that I'm going to do, and it's the most advanced one that you'll see at this level. So again, we're going to do the same thing. I'll put the little one there. They will usually be a one here. They're usually not going to put a three or a two here. That's, that's a little too hard at this level. So again, you're going to distribute one at a time, one times two. If you do it this slow and this careful, you are not likely to make a mistake. One times two, two. Radical five times radical five is radical 25, right? You just do five times five. Done. Now, put the minus there, right? Go with the end. One times three, three, right? Negative in the middle. Radical five times radical 10, right? I already did the numbers on the outside. Now I got to do the numbers on the inside. So radical five times radical 10 is radical 50. Now, there's a lot going on here. 25, look, he's on the list. He's a perfect square. One, two, three, four, five. Take him out of jail. He comes out of jail as five. Remember, you have to multiply. This is a product. You multiply them together. Now, 50 breaks down as 25 and two. You have to break him up. This radical can be simplified. You cannot leave it as 50. Now, you can't write it as 10 times five. 10 is not on this list. Five is not on this list. You need a perfect square. So the only one you can pick that goes into 50 is 25. So this is 10. Take away. Now, again, 25 comes out of jail as a five. The radical two stays in jail. He's not a perfect square. He's, he's not on the list to get released. He's stuck in jail. So you just do three times five. Now, again, temptation. Oh, you're going to do 10 minus 15. No, you're not. These are not like terms. They are never, ever going to combine. You cannot subtract these no matter how badly you want to. You have to stop there. So that's the end.